Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad you could all uh, tune in. Uh, we're here at the end of the month of April. Uh, if you can't tell, spring is in full effect. We've got pollen everywhere. The grass is starting to grow uh, here in Arkansas. Uh, I like to call this the monsoon season because we've had week after week after week of just nonstop raining. Every now and then we'll have a break from the rain, but that's how we know that we're in the spring season. And what does that mean for fishing? Uh, well, typically the fish are starting to move from those winter areas where they were at down deep. They're starting to transition and move up shallow. They're starting to feed. Uh, by this point, a lot of the fish have already went through their spawning period. Some of them might even be on their uh, second spawn. So fish are on beds. They're laying eggs. They're making babies. It's that time where you can start fishing up shallow and just about catching fish on any type of lure uh, spring and summer is usually my favorite time I like to fish up shallow around uh, lay downs and docks uh, grass the grass in the water is starting to grow some of it is still submerged underwater and then you've got some that's starting to peek out of the water breaking the surface I like to throw in those areas because you've got a lot of uh, a lot of bass that are cruising around those areas looking for some easy prey as well as like I said they're up on beds laying eggs so we're gonna get into April's monster bass and I apologize like always guys that I get my bag towards the end of the month and things have been a little bit crazy I've been meaning to do this video for a while but I just it just slips my mind a lot so I'm gonna jump into this uh, first thing I want to do I didn't do it in my last video so I'm gonna do it this time um, as always you get a card to join up with fish angler uh, if you guys have already used fish brain fish angler is kind of the same thing you can it gives you good weather times to um, or at least a good forecast for your weather for your area so you know when the best times to go fishing. Uh, you can log your fish catches and then that way you can always go back to those spots or you can share with other people and then they can go to these areas and also catch fish. Uh, so like I said, it's, it's just like fish brain. It's a, it's a community of fishermen and women so that way you can share your experiences and your catches uh, so that way everybody can enjoy it. Uh, the other thing that I didn't do was instead of the booklets now, uh, Rick has put all the information on these cards. So whenever you get one of the Monster Bass boxes or the bag, you'll get this card where it has, uh, so on this side, it has the QR code for the lures that came in this bag. And then, uh, on the other side, it has a QR code that you can scan to do a survey to basically let everybody at Monster Bass know what you think. Good lures, bad lures, what lures you would like to see, and just other things. Also, it shows right there that if you do the survey, you get a $5 discount uh, code whenever you go to Monster Bass and do some shopping. So what I didn't do for last month, I did not scan the QR codes to talk about these baits. So this time... I'm going to go ahead and pull up my camera on my phone, and I am going to go ahead and do that. So here we go. Boom. Wait a minute. I didn't get it. It's not doing it. There we go. I am now going. All right. So huh. So let's see here. So it starts off with a video from Rick talking about what he got in his monster bass for the month of April for his area. 
So it's talking about a Monster Bass square bill, the square banger, which is this one right here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that right there because of that glare from my light. But uh, this is a this one's a silent uh, square bill, so there's no rattles in it. It's a silent running, and it runs three to six feet deep, so shallow water bait. Uh, this one is called cream sickle. It is half ounce in weight, 2.33 inches in length. So good crankbait lure to throw shallow water, uh, bang this thing off of the uh, off of rocks and stumps, uh, off of laydowns. Probably even can throw it uh, right above the grass or along the grass line and get those bass to come out. Uh, always remember when you're fishing with crankbaits, you can get down a little bit deeper if you go down on your line size. I probably wouldn't go no lower than 10 pound test line and you want to make sure you got that paired up with a good uh, fishing rod. So that way you've got that give in your rod. So that way, because remember you're fishing with treble hooks, too stiff a rod, you're going to rip those hooks out. So make sure you've got a good rod that's got some bend in it to kind of act as a sponge or some kind of shock absorber. So when those fish dive down deep, that rod will absorb some of that. Also make sure you got your drag set correctly. Or if you are a little bit more advanced, then you can just... Um, hit your uh, thumb release and let the the spool spin you use your thumb to uh, control that and that way you can fight the fish but you don't want to rush it because when you're dealing with treble hooks you don't want to rip those hooks out so you want to play the fish nice and easy to make sure you get that one in uh, I want to see if they no they didn't give any kind of details on uh, a rod setup or anything for this one but that would be the monster bass square bill uh, square banger is what that one's called next I have a Livingston lures uh, jerkbait uh, let's see this is the jerk master so let me see if they've okay right here uh, experience the ultimate in fish catching technology with Livingston Lures Jerkmaster 121 combined combining advanced sound technology and erratic darting action this premium jerkbait will attract even the most elusive fish with a long slender profile and an internal weight transfer system this bait is perfect for casting long distance and with electronic bait fish sound technology so this jerkbait here uh, has some components inside to put off a, a, a bait fish noise. Uh, it also said that it has a weight transfer system. What that weight transfer does is you go to throw that lure out, it will then transfer the weight to the back of the tail here to help you throw that lure way out. Uh, let me see if I can find it on here. This is a pro green color. Uh, it says four to six feet deep. So you want to get it way out there, reel it down to that four to six feet depth, and then start your cadence. Uh, at this moment, at this point in the springtime, uh, fish are probably looking for something very, very erratic. So that cadence could be anything from a one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. That type of action, uh, also remember when you're fishing jerk baits, when you snap the rod down, you won't slack line. If you're doing it tight line, you're more, more than likely going to just pull that bait like this in a straight line. So I would probably say when you make your cast, get it out there. Once it hits the water, let the rings dissipate. Probably strip out a little bit of line and then start your reel it down get it down in the water and then wham 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 in between your jerks you want to take up some of the slack but don't turn too much and take up too much because like i said you don't want a tight line you want slack line that slack line is going to allow that jerk bait when it's in the water to dart this way 
and then dart this way and it's going to keep that erratic action going that's what's going to attract those fish you're looking like a bait fish that's trying to escape and like i said right now the fish are trying to feed up because some of them have finished spawning and they need to get some more food in their belly so the more you can make this thing look like a bait fish that's trying to escape the better it's going to be uh i've never fished uh any kind of electronic baits so this will be something very interesting to try out my phone keeps going off on me because i'm not messing with it that much okay so next i'm gonna go let's see here it says walking pop pop which also a livingston bait but i don't have that one so prime time i don't have that one aha Castaic Atlas Spinnerbait. And this color right here, the chartreuse and white with the silver in it, that is an awesome, awesome shad bait right there uh, with the right kind of trailer, whether you go uh, a paddle tail on the back or, you know, just something to give it some more action back there. Um, great shad imitator. You should catch a lot on this. Um, I would probably throw this in some stain to murky water. Uh, the fish are going to be uh, using that lateral line to feel the vibration as well as the flash. But this would be a great, great bait to throw around some stumps, some laydowns, uh, maybe over some grass. Uh, with spinner baits, you can control the depth a little bit, whether you have your rod tip up to keep it up in the water column or if you have it pointed down kind of forcing it down also your different trailers will also play a big part in whether that lure is going to ride high or ride you know go down or even just stay level uh again i don't think it has uh let's see it doesn't say anything about a um rod setup so i would just suggest this um Whatever company uh, rods you like to use, check with their manufacturers. Most of the times you can look on the websites for these lures, or not lures, I'm sorry, for these rod and reels, and see what is the best one for the type of baits. Um, I use six gill rod and reels. Uh, if you go to their website, whatever technique you're trying to fish, they have a complete list of all of their rods and their reels, and what is the best rod and reel combo for the lures that you're trying to fish and then they even break it down by the different um the different brand or different model of their rods to show you what is the a good one to use and they do this uh almost based on the price point what is a good one to use what is the best one to use what is the better one to use or i think it's good better best Again, that's going to play a big part in how much you want to spend on your rod and reel combos. But at the same time, this is information coming from the pro staff with Six Gill and how they like to fish their rod and reels with their setups. So always check with that and go with that. Again, Six Gill, great rod and reels. I think I've had I've had one reel break on me uh, while I was fishing with it. The rest of them, I think I've broken uh, because of my stupidity doing something. But as far as their products just breaking, I've had one rod that broke, and that was my fault again. So I've had one rod and one reel break on me, all because of me. Everything else, the one reel that broke that wasn't my fault, great customer service. They fixed it, got it back to me in time for a local tournament that I was about to fish. So if you're interested, go pick up some six gill rod and reels. Uh... I'm sorry, got off on that one, but six gill is the way to go. Um, yeah, double willow leaf blades, three eighth ounce. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited to throw that one. Okay, let's see here. Is this is that? Yep. So uh, I've got the VNM skipping jig right here, seven sixteenth ounce. Uh, black and blue with a little bit of purple in there. Uh, this one was designed by Cliff Pace. He was the 2013 Bassmaster Classic Champion. This jig comes in at... 
I said it seven seven sixteenth ounce. Uh, this probably paired up with this punch crawl that comes with it would be a good setup or whatever your favorite trailer that you'd like to use on your jigs when you're skipping again check your setups for the best one for skipping and you skip this under docks under laydowns anything like that and then you hop that thing a couple of times guaranteed to get you some bites awesome awesome way to fish I love throwing jigs, especially now that I've learned how to skip. I love it. It is awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, we're moving on. X-Zone Soft Plastics, which is right here that I just talked about. This is the Punisher Punch Crawl. Green Purple. Or no, Green Pumpkin purple green so it's a green pumpkin color and then it's got purple and green flake in it i don't know if you guys can really see that but uh this eight of them in here i can't really see a size or anything but uh great looking lures smell pretty good too let me see here. Let me see what they say about this. So, lifelike, designed to mimic the natural movements of bait fish and other forage. High quality, durable yet supple material that ensures a realistic feel. Uh, from creatures to worms and swim baits, egg zone. Yeah. So, really good lure. Uh, and you can fish this also as a flipping bait or as they said if you got a punch set up with a, a punch skirt and punch weight you can punch with this through uh really really thick mats and grass um i would probably throw this on a carolina rig i'm not yeah a carolina rig i didn't mean a carolina rig or my favorite way to throw this would be on a texas rig flipping it into some grass again texas rig is my way to go i love throwing the texas rig uh, that little clap was so weird and again sticking with my Texas rig or this one probably really would shine with a Carolina rig but you have the yum Christie cross by Jason Christie uh, this one says to use with a four aught offset hook um, EWG style hook here it is Texas rig or Carolina rig tremendous water displacement for flipping pitching and working deep water so flipping this around hopping it off of the bottom dragging it on the bottom uh, on a Carolina rig awesome way to catch some fish uh, this is a 4.5 size color green pumpkin so this time of year green pumpkin is probably going to be your way to go Anytime you're throwing some plastics because it's natural, it imitates uh, brim or bluegill, anything like that. Uh, it says here for this one, recommended gear uh, for the reel, 7 to 1 gear ratio or higher. Rod, 7 to 8 foot, medium heavy to heavy rod. And your line size, fluorocarbon. 12 to 15 pound or 50 to 65 pound braid uh, as far as your line go that's going to depend on um, where you're at where you're fishing if you're fishing around some rocks and some lay downs and some stumps you probably want to throw fluorocarbon if you're fishing around grass or a lot of thick vegetation you want to go with that braid because braid will cut through that grass if you're fishing around lay downs with the braid it'll cut into that wood but it won't cut through it and you're going to end up breaking off so be mindful about that um i actually have two texas rig setups one of them is a setup as a heavy setup for my flipping into grass i have that one spooled up with braid i can't remember exactly um what size braid and then my other main go-to texas rig i have that one spooled up i believe it was 20 pound fluorocarbon uh berkeley trialing so that and then of course uh they sent some daiichi uh hooks these are three four aught round bend hooks and these are red so it imitates bleeding so whether it's one of the christy critters or the punisher punch crawls this red hook will imitate 
a, a injured bait fish that's bleeding, which may draw you in some extra bites because fish, I like to say this, fish are a lot, a lot like a lot of us. Uh, depending on weather, we don't do a whole lot. If it's really, really cold, most people want to stay inside and they don't want to do a whole lot. If it's super, super hot outside, same thing. You don't feel like going outside doing a whole lot of stuff. So kind of use that thought process for the fish. When the water's cold, fish, the bass don't want to move around a lot. They, they want to stay close to home, very lazy, and they want an easy meal. So if you can put that thing right in front of them, they're going to take it because it's right there. Uh, same thing when it's super, super hot. They're not trying to get out and do a whole lot of moving. So again, they want something that's going to come to them. Very easy to get. They want that easy meal. So just remember that if the easier you can make your presentation and make your lures look like something injured to those fish, it triggers something where they react because they think it's an easy prey. I got an easy meal. Uh, I guess another way you could think of it for a lot of people, they don't like the idea of cooking a meal because you got to put in the work, you know. You got to make sure your kitchen's cleaned up. You got your dishes set up. You've done all of your prepping to get your food ready. Then you've got to cook it before you can actually sit down and eat it. That takes some work. Or you can call and have food delivered and now you've got an easy meal. So it's kind of the same way the fish, the bass are. Easy meals, they're all for it. Every now and then they might get out there and chase some stuff. Early in the mornings, they're chasing, busting shads. You know, that's when you want to throw some top waters or something like that. But as that day goes on, that sun gets up and it gets a little bit hotter, then the fish are usually like, okay, I'm about to sit back and chill. I'm not chasing no food. But if something comes over here and it's a little bit easier to get to, I'm on it. So just kind of keep that there in the back of your mind. And then, as always, Monster Bass always sends the stickers. We've had this one a couple of times, but it is still a cool sticker. So, I hope that helps you guys out. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And then, click the links down below and check out some of these products. I will leave a link down below for Monster Bass, as well as a link for... Uh, six gill rod and reels excuse me also if you like this shirt right here click on the other link for bucked up when you're out there on the water you got to stay hydrated bucked up is an awesome supplement company to help you with your health and fitness goals uh for those of you who like to be in the gym, they've got some awesome products to help you reach your, your goals as far as being uh, fit. But then if you just want to you know, take care of your overall health, they got stuff for that too. So I'll leave those links below. Uh, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for joining. Make sure you hit the subscribe, like, share, and leave comments. Till the next time, see you guys in the great outdoors.